welcome to Spotlight on Six Star Cruises. I'm Karen Worrell, your host, destination and cruise expert for Six Star Cruises. And welcome to our final episode of Cruising to Alaska with Regent Seven Seas Cruises. I have the lovely Ed Lang, Senior Business Development Manager for Regent Seven Seas Cruises with me again. Hello, Ed, and welcome back. It's good to be back. Well, Talking thank you. about all things Alaska. I love Alaska, so I could talk about it all day. Wonderful. Well, we might not go all day, but we will <laughs> definitely have some good tips for you today. Yes. Wonderful. So we're going to continue our virtual tour of Alaska with Regent, going to a small town with big appeal. It's Sitka. Plus, we're going to look at the fascinating Icy Strait Point. Now, Sitka is small but mighty and is one of my favorite ports in Alaska because it's nestled right next to the wonderful natural surroundings, which are our literal, literal breath of fresh air to explore. And there's a strong native Alaskan history here in the area and town because the town is right next to forests, mountains, and the sea. And there's a lot of exciting Alaskan wildlife to see, plus the locals in the town are lovely, friendly, and welcoming to ship visitors. I've been to Sitka many times and even have friends there. Now Sitka is easy to walk around and there's a few interesting things to see around town. The Southeast Alaska Indian Cultural Center is on the outskirts of town and has a small museum to native Clinkit and Haida life and customs and a theater where they have native and Alaskan folk music shows. Now St. Michael's Cathedral is a Russian Orthodox cathedral in the middle of town which has 16th century Russian icon paintings inside. You can take a stroll along the waterfront past the pretty harbour and you'll come to the Russian Bishop's House, which became a school and is now a museum. Now, both of these, show, these landmarks show the influence of the 19th century Russia on Sitka's early development. And if you go into town and you fancy a rest or refreshment, check out Ernie's Bar on the main street. My friend Pete runs it. Hello. And pop in and say hi and have a coffee or a beer and meet the locals. Now, next to it, you can see your first totem pole in Sitka in the main park square. Now, if you keep on going past, walking past the harbour and the bishop's house, after about 20 minutes, you'll reach the outskirts of the edge of Sitka National Historical Park. This is Sitka's park that is home to more than 100 totem poles. And each pole tells a story about the people that carved them and they were created for various reasons, including to celebrate special occasions such as births, weddings and coming of age ceremonies, or to commemorate important events in the tribe's history, such as having a good harvest, winning a battle or villages coming together. Now, as we've said before, one of the best things about cruising with Regent Seven Seas Cruises is that unlimited complimentary shore excursions are included. And the best way to get to know the area around Sitka when you're visiting for a day from the ship is to head out on an excursion or two to immerse yourself in the area. So we're going to take a look at some of my top picks for shore excursions in Sitka. Now, the historic Sitka and Nature Walk Tour, which lasts three and a quarter hours, is a great way to learn about the history of the town, the area, and learn about the beautiful nature that surrounds it while walking through it. Now, you'll walk through the city, you'll see highlights including St. Michael's Cathedral, the Russian Bishop's House, and historical Victorian homes. Then you meander along a nature trail in Sitka National Historical Park, where all the totem poles are, Plus, you'll visit the Alaska Raptor Center, where you see how injured birds of prey are looked after in the hopes of releasing them back into the wild again. Now, another tour that I like here, which um, I'd recommend for active travelers, is the Wilderness Sea Kayaking Adventure. Now, this one lasts about three hours and takes you out paddling on a sea kayak into the crystal clear waters of Sitka, um, after you do a safety briefing, of course. Now, you'll see the towering mountains blanketed by dense forest and maybe even see bald eagles soaring overhead or sea lions, harbour seals or porpoises in the water. Then you'll have a hot drink and a little snack to refuel after, so it is lots of fun. Now, the sea otters, raptors and birds, oh my, tour is a great one to experience the wildlife of the Sitka area. You'll cruise the waters of Sitka to see the otters, seals, um, and sea lions and breaching whales there too as well, if you're lucky. Now you may see brown bears and black-tailed deer in the forest. Um, and then you go to the Alaska Raptor Center to see the injured birds there and meet them up close. After that, you'll head off to the Fortress of the Bear Rescue Facility to meet some bears. So it's a wonderful tour as well. Now, the Taste of Sitka tour is a great tour for foodies. 
nature and history fans. This three and a quarter hour tour takes you to the Sitka Science Center where you'll learn about local marine life. Then you'll head to the University of Alaska for a photo stop and learn about it being a military base and airfield during World War II. Then comes the foodie part where you'll have a light salmon meal and craft beer tasting at the Channel Club restaurant. So lots of great tours there. Do you yes. like the sound of any of them? Yeah, the sea otters for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd love to do that little sea otter quest, yeah. They were so they cute me. as yeah. well, aren't they? Yeah, nice, Just yeah. seeing them out in the wild and they're, mm. they're very playful, they're very yeah. mischievous. Yes, yeah. So yeah, that would be my choice. Definite, good, good choice, <laughs> I like that one. Well, Sitka is a lovely town. It is very friendly and welcoming and somewhere that will stay with you when you visit. Now, when you're there, I would recommend taking at least one tour uh, to see whichever aspect of the area appeals to you the most whether that's nature, action, history, or food. And save a little time to stroll around town if your tour isn't in town itself. Okay, so we've had a look at Sitka. Now we're gonna move out to Icy Strait Point. Icy Strait Point is another great port that Regent Seven Seas stops at in Alaska. Now this frontier town is surrounded by nature with tall pine trees and wildlife, including humpback whales, eagles, wild salmon, black bears and more are all around this area. The Native Theatre and Heritage Centre has song and dance from Clinket tribal members and totem poles as well. Now the Cannery Museum shows how fish are canned and you can stop for locally made preserves, wood carvings, bath products and jewellery as well. Now my favourite tours here are the two hour seafood feast and tribal dance show where you can learn about the Clinket people through interpretive song, dance and storytelling and then you feast on Alaskan seafood dishes and roast marshmallows around a campfire. So it's lots of fun. Now Ed, you like you love it there, don't you, in Icy Strait Point? Yes, yeah. Do you have a uh, favourite? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we do this uh, amazing tour um, along the Spusky River Valley um, uh, and the scenery itself is, is proper wilderness, you know, it's a tiny little town, um, Icy Strait Point. So, uh, you're straight into the wilderness and, and you walk along uh, the, the side of this riverbed um, where there's a really beautiful uh, river running down it. There are salmon jumping at the right part of the times of the season so you can see the, the fish jumping out of the water. Um, and then the real highlight is seeing the bears there. So uh, a colleague of mine has just returned from Alaska this year and she said even before they got to the the walkway for the viewing platforms, a bear just wandered straight in front of the, her wow. and the tour group. So, you know, if you're worried about seeing those sorts of, you know, wildlife, it happens and it really does. Um, and she saw a couple more further down on one of the, the viewing platforms there. So it's, um, it's a really, really amazing special tour. I would say sort of bears, whales, glaciers are the highlight highlights of Alaska. So being able to do that as part of the included tours is, 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 is really phenomenal. Definitely, yeah, that's a that's wonderful tour. Yeah, yeah Lots absolutely. Of fun. Very good. Well, um, I'll need to try that one on my next, next Alaskan <laughs> trip. I haven't done that one yet, actually. Now, why should you book with Regent Seven Seas Cruises on a trip to Alaska with Six Star Cruises? Well, we give you the best price guarantee. Um, we are the, the cruise experts. You get first class service, concierge expertise, you have got booking confidence, with, we're ABTA and Atoll bonded, we're a long established business and we have excellent customer reviews as well. So you get your own dedicated cruise concierge that will look after you. We've been in business for 12 years, you con all the concierge are full of information and knowledge, they give you excellent personalised service. So don't worry, you're in good hands and just take a look at sixstarcruises.co.uk today and phone us on um, our, on our number here, 0808 239 0239 to start planning your next cruise. Well, that's it from us on Sitka and Icy Strait Point. And that's it from us for cruising with, uh, to Alaska with Regent Seven Seas Cruises. And thank you for joining myself and Ed for sharing more information. Thank you for yeah, joining us, Ed, once pleasure. again. As I said, I always love talking about Alaska, so very happy to be here. Wonderful. It's a beautiful part of the world. So thank you and we hope to see you again soon. Alaska is wonderful. It has stunning nature, landscapes, history, welcoming people and fantastic seafood. And it is a real adventure in the last frontier. So we will see you next time. Bon voyage.